Let's now solve the diffusion equation in one dimension. So the equation we want to solve is dp dt is equal to d d second p by dx squared. In order to have a well-posed problem, we need to specify an initial condition. And the simplest thing to specify is that at x equals 0, the random walker is at 0. And so this is encapsulated by saying p x at t equals 0 is a delta function of x. To make this, to, to do the solution, we're going to make use of Fourier transform and Laplace transforms. So here I'm assuming that you have had some kind of background at the advanced undergraduate level in Fourier transforms and Laplace transforms. Let me just write down the definitions for the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of a function fxt is the integral of fxt e to the i k x dx. And the inverse Fourier transform is obtained fxt is 1 over 2 pi the integral over k fkt e to the minus i k x. Notice that I've chosen a convention in which there is a 1 over 2 pi in the inverse transform and a 1 in the, uh, direct, uh, in the direct Fourier transform. Another important point to emphasize here is that this function fkt is the Fourier transform. It is not the same function f with, k, uh, being with x being replaced by k. In many books, people often write tilde or hat over this thing which I find is a little bit gloppy. So I'm going to only use, I'm going to use the same notation. And the argument is to, is you should use to indicate that this is the Fourier transform. Similarly, for the Laplace transform, uh, we can define f x s, the, four, the Laplace transform, as the integral over all time f x t e to the minus s t d t. And the inverse Laplace transform is obtained in a similar fashion. It's the Bromwich contra-integral 1 over 2 pi i, a contra-integral of x fxs e to the st ds, where the contra-integral c goes in the, from the negative imaginary axis to the positive, from minus imaginary infinity to plus imaginary infinity to the right of any singularities of fxs. OK, so let's now uh, solve this diffusion equation using Fourier and tr Laplace transform technology. And the idea here is that we have a partial differential equation in two variables. And by using Fourier and Laplace transforms, we can change this to a simple algebraic equation that's easy to solve. And then we have to just invert the resulting solution to get the original probability distribution. So let's take our original equation. And let me now integrate from minus infinity to infinity the entire equation e to the i k x dx. That is, I'm taking the Fourier transform of both sides of the equation. So on the left-hand side, I'm just going to get dp of k and t dt. On the right-hand side, an important feature of the uh, Fourier transform is that partial differentiation turns into multiplication by i k in the Fourier transform. So this just becomes minus d, and then I have i k squared. And um, i k squared is a minus sign, so that's why there's a minus sign sitting on front. d k squared p k t. So this first step has transformed a partial differential equation actually into uh, an ordinary differential equation, because now there's only one variable on the left-hand side. That's uh, There's only one variable being differentiated. And then the second step is let's take this equation and take its Laplace transform. So we're going to take this equation, multiply by e to the minus st dt, and integrate from 0 to infinity. So on the left-hand side, again, using some basic facts about Laplace transform technology, the partial derivative is the same as multiplying by s minus the initial condition. So here we have s p k s minus the initial condition, p, k, t equals 0. And again, let me emphasize that this quantity is the Fourier Laplace transform. This is the Fourier transform in, in, uh, in the time domain. And on the right-hand side, we'll just have minus d, k squared, p, k, s. Now, an important simplification by, is that by taking the initial condition to be a particle at the origin, the Fourier transform of a delta function is just equal to 1. 
So we have a simple algebraic equation to solve, and the solution is simply pKs is equal to 1 over s plus dk squared. So that is the probability distribution in the Fourier-Laplace domain. And now we have to just invert this uh, Fourier-Laplace transform. So let's do it step by step. pKt is equal to 1 over 2 pi i, Bromwich contra integral, 1 over s plus dk squared e to the s t d s. This function has a singularity at uh, s equal minus dk squared. And so we have to compute 2 pi i times the sum of the residues. And this is nothing more than e to the minus dk squared t. And finally, pxt is the Fourier transform of this object. So it's 1 over 2 pi i minus infinity to infinity, e to the minus d k squared t, e to the minus i k x d k. And an important feature about uh, Fourier transforms is that the Fourier transform of a Gaussian is yet another Gaussian. And this is an important exercise that you should be able to do. So the result of all of this is that p x t when you do this uh, inverse Fourier transform is 1 over 4 pi dt square root e to the minus x squared over 4 dt. So this is the result in one spatial dimension. In general spatial dimensions, the same algebra goes through step by step, and the answer in general spatial dimension is 1 over 4 pi dt to the power little d over 2 e to the minus r squared over 4 dt, where here I just have to specify that I'm looking not at the probability distribution of a Cartesian coordinate, but this is the probability distribution of the radial uh, position of, a, of, of the random walk in, in general dimension. So this is uh, d arbitrary. So in general, again, notice this universal Gaussian dis probability distribution uh, for, the pro for, the position, for the distribution of a random walk at time t.